G'day, I'm David Abrahams and welcome to Central Coast Newspapers Weekly News 5 at 5 May 6, 2022. With just three weeks to the federal election, things are heating up in our two marginal Central Coast seats of Robertson and Dobell. On Tuesday, opposition leader Anthony Albanese rocked up to a small suburban home in East Gosford to explain his party's home affordability scheme. This is a practical measure. It's a practical measure to assist people get a foot in the door and then get a roof over their head. This will help 10,000 people a year. It's a practical scheme. It comes at a cost of $329 million across the forward estimates, but we'll recoup $445 million from our plan to double foreign investment fees and penalties. And the seat of Robertson's only broad local candidate forum was held last weekend at Wagstaff Hall. All the major candidates were in attendance and a few of the outside contenders too. CCN went along to film the proceedings. So go to our website for all the candidates' pictures in video form. And this week, CCN's editor-in-chief, Ross Barry, interviewed Robertson MP Lucy Wicks in her office at West Gosford. An in-depth interview I know many will find engaging. We'll be publishing that full interview early next week. The first is actually building better infrastructure here on the Central Coast, world-class infrastructure. I think about the Medical uh, University and the Medical Research Institute that uh, opened without great fanfare during the COVID-19 pandemic last year, but was formally opened earlier this year, a groundbreaking $85 million investment. And yes, we have lined up interviews with Labor candidate Dr Gordon Reid and a couple of others on either side of the political spectrum. And double, yes, we are attempting to line up interviews in Dobell too. Right, candidates? And Council is pushing ahead with its plans to hand over some of the COS parklands to national parks. The Council-owned parcels of land would be added to Memora State Conservation Park, Booty National Park and the Wombina Reserve. The deal's not been done yet, and Council's COS committee will have their say this time round. So for us to manage a small parcel of land alongside a big parcel of land which is owned by the Crown, it does make more sense to transfer it into there. So it's all managed as one, um, you know, one parcel. What I was conscious of last night, the COS committee had not expressed a view on it. What I did do is I added a fifth resolution last night to, to say to the staff that they must consult with COS and in business, the Central Coast Sustainability Association is hosting a business leaders show tonight at the ever popular Red Tree Theatre in Tugra. Real Talks is a revolutionary Central Coast TED style event showcasing world class scientists, businesses and innovators. Lead speaker tonight will be Saul Griffith. Saul's an Australian engineer and inventor who has spent the last 20 years between MIT in Boston and Silicon Valley. He's now back promoting his latest book, The Big Switch, about the electrification of business and the economy. Certainly a buzz around that event. We've really not done a lot in the last two decades in terms of addressing climate change. So we now have to move incredibly quickly. This is what you call an adoption curve. It's the rate at which we bring a new technology to market. Starts slow, like where we are with electric vehicles now, but once everyone is buying their next car, as an, uh, as an electric, then you're a mass adoption and very soon you saturate the market. And in sport, a great win for our Central Coast Mariners in Brisbane this week has secured them a place in the finals. Before then, this Saturday, in the classic grudge match, F3 Derby against the Newcastle Jets, a win would mean five in a row for the first time since 2013 and a potential home final, depending on Adelaide's result against Western United. We really want to win this game. For we we want to try to to finish more higher in a, in a table. Of course, we can go far. We we can we can win uh, against against any team. But now we have uh, we have game Saturday, derby game against Newcastle. The goal for us now is just win every game, go the more far as possible, and we will do the best for it. And of course, all these stories written by local journalists can be found on our website without a paywall and in this week's print editions of Coast Community News and the Coast Community Chronicle. And remember to subscribe to our very popular email newsletter on our website 
and via our socials, via YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram for updates throughout the week. And if you're growing tired of politics and election speak, perhaps take a break at the GG's at Gosford Racetrack on Saturday for the Coast Race. There'll be food, fashion, and music, and horses, of course, with 10 races and $1.8 million up for grabs. As they say in the racing industry, someone's gonna be happy. Have a great weekend.